on 31, let's go ahead and decompose some functions, which sounds kind of funky, but we're going to decompose a composite function into its component functions, which means here I'm, I'm telling you f of g of x is equal to this polynomial. All right, so what were f and g initially? Like how did I wind up with f of g of x? And things to take note of, I, I, I hope you're seeing, if we look at f of g of x, you see the x squared minus 5 here and the x squared minus 5 here. So you see those inside parentheses. And that's a clue as to what your inner function will be. All right, so things that are inside grouping symbols tend to go with your inner function. So I'm going to just start you and say, well, I think g of x is x squared minus 5. Okay? Because again, keep in mind, this symbol is f of g of x. So I'm going to be doing something to g of x. I'm going to do something to x squared minus 5. And what did I do to it? Well, I cubed it. I subtracted 4 of it. And then I added 3. Oops, hold tight. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. All right. So with that, let's try and figure out what the f function is. So f, in this case, my guess is it is this quantity cubed, so I'm going to say x cubed, and then minus 4 of those things, plus 3. So those are my guesses in terms of the outer and inner function. And I should check myself, right? So if that's my guess, well, let's see. What is f of g of x, not multiplication, what is this equal to? So it's f of g of x. Let's see if we got it. So this would be f. Of, now g of x would be x squared minus 5. And if I swap that in for my f function, I'm supposed to cube that thing, subtract 4 of it, and then add 3. And that worked out. That was exactly what I wanted, so I was able to decompose these functions. Now, depending on how, how many decompositions you want to have, there could be multiple answers for this, all right? Because you could actually do something like f of g of h of x, where you could have h be x squared and do all sorts of fun things with that. But this only asked us for two functions, so those are the two I'm going to go with. All right, we're going to practice one more example, and then we will finish out this section. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.